Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today, we're working on our garage door seal at the bottom. Uh, we're gonna replace this seal uh, with age. It is cracked and broken. There's little pieces missing here and there. And uh, lets more air into our garage than we would like. And also uh, insects, ants are getting in sometimes, things like that. And replacing this seal will help that. And Do It Yourself with Wayne is all about teaching you how to do things to save money. So if you're interested in saving money, you may want to subscribe to our channel, make it easier to find our videos. Uh, we've got a lot of videos already online. We've got a lot more coming. And uh, so now we're going to proceed with demonstrating how to replace this seal on the bottom of a garage door. Now we're going to proceed with removing our old weather stripping. Um, you can use a small crowbar like this and get under it. Uh, you could use a crow, I mean, a, a screwdriver or a claw hammer or just anything to get under it uh, and just get the old rubber stripping off like so. Don't worry about the nails right now. Uh, right now we're worried with getting the old weather stripping off. You might be able to just pull it. Uh, but once you get the weather stripping off, we'll start working with getting the nails out. Claw hammer or something will work well. Uh, usually these are just attached with uh, old roofing tacks like this. Uh, but after you get the weather stripping off, just work on getting your tacks out and, uh, and then we'll work on installing the new one. Now at this point, we've removed the old seal from the bottom of our door. We made sure we got all the nails out and we cleaned it a bit. And uh, we're going to be installing this MD brand uh, garage door seal. And before we purchased this, uh, we measured the width of our door. Because uh, these doors come in different widths, you want to make sure that you get a seal that's at least as wide as your door uh, because you don't want to piece it together. Uh, this particular garage door seal comes with its own nails. And we counted the nails, and there's 18 of them for a nine foot door. So we want to nail every six inches. And we'll take our tape measure and we'll measure and just make a light pencil mark every six inches. So when we get to the end, we won't have le nails left over, which means we wouldn't have enough in the bottom of the seal. And we don't want to run out of nails before we get to the end and have to do something else at the end. And um, when we open the package, the seal, the end of it looks like this. And this long edge here, if you can see that, I put a picture of it up in the corner. Uh, that long edge is what goes to the outside of your door. So when you're installing it, and I got the wrong end here for the way we're starting, that long edge goes to the outside like that. So that's the way we'll be installing it, like so. And now we're going to get ourselves together and start. Now I've already got this started. When I put the end up, the weather stripping goes a little bit past the frame of the, the garage door. So I cut a little corner out here so that it would fit properly. And I marked under my door with a pencil where my nails need to go. And I found it easier to just push the nails through the weather stripping where you need it. And then that'll hold it in place and then you can just hammer it in. Like so. And then you go to the next nail. Same thing. Over to your next pencil mark. Make sure your weather stripping is where it needs to be. And hammer it in place. Just be careful, don't drive the nails in too deep. You don't want to damage the weather stripping. And also, um, the back side of the weather stripping. There's two ridges here. You want those ridges centered on the underside of the door so that the wood coming down sits even across that edge for a good seal and a good mounting of the rubber strip. So now we're going to continue on. The next six inch mark, nail in there. Make sure the weather stripping is centered up on the bottom of the door. Drive the nail in. Easy as pie. Get 
cord. At this point, we have finished our install. And to demonstrate the door working, I'm gonna put the door down. There it comes. And now you can see we've got a real nice seal all the way across. This is much better than what we had before. And it should help keep the cold air out in the winter and keep, hopefully keep insects and stuff of that nature out as well. We have finished our garage door seal installation. Uh, works very well. And uh, if you find this video helpful, please click like. And again, um, our, all our videos are about doing things yourself to help you save money. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, please subscribe to our channel and make it a lot easier for you to find our videos in the future. We've got a lot more coming. We've already got a lot online. And we just want to help you to do things yourself to save money. And thank you very much for visiting Do It Yourself with Wayne. We hope you have a great day.